it makes me sad, but it also makes me happy that all my friends like understand and I don't have to answer a million questions. It has been just over a week since Goodyear firefighter Austin Peck passed away from work-related cancer, and we have been covering Valley firefighters who are fighting to get their cancer claims covered by cities. Uh, but this week they wanted to make sure that Austin's family and his two young daughters know that they are not alone. Brian Whitney sat down exclusively with Austin Peck's family, and uh, this is the first time that we actually hear from him since he's gone. It is, yeah, his family, they're amazing. They are so strong through all of this. Not only did they sit by Austin's side for three and a half years while he fought a rare and aggressive cancer, but now they're advocating for other firefighters going through the cancer claims process and his daughters are able to smile because of what Austin's firefighter family has done for them this week. Take a look. Austin was one special guy. Our prayers go to you and your family. Thoughts of those who care with sympathy. Words have a lot of meaning. A lot of them make you so happy that you just start crying or you start laughing. But it was Austin Peck's actions, his fearless fight, that his family is holding on to. People say it's easy to be grateful that he's not in pain anymore, but I know he would have done anything for one more day with his girls. Thousands of people honored Austin this past week. A beautiful procession, a celebration at an Irish bar, just as Austin would have wanted. His brother Cody, wife Erin, and daughters Harper and Marley are taking it all in. Our battle was so long, it's hard to remember life before cancer. So a lot of these stories that are coming out just reminded me of how much fun we had. So the firefighters doing something special for the Girls Monday. <laughs> Their first day back at school, lining up with a round of applause as they walked in. It made me super happy and made me like realize how awesome my father was. They're like uncles and dads and it's just like family. Marley FaceTimes his firefighter brothers on his phone every night, but has a heart like her dad, making sure everyone else is taken care of first. It's really hard, especially school. I hate having to leave her. I, I get scared that she might be left alone one day and not know what to do. And now, as they heal, they're turning to hope for Austin's firefighting family. Now that, that Austin's fight, that part of his physical fight is over, uh, we're all ready to, uh, to give, it, give it all we've got towards, towards the next people. Emotional story there. The Pecks say they're working closely with the other Goodyear firefighters whose cancer claims were denied, even though their cancers do fall under that presumptive state law. Just an amazing family and the yeah. extended firefighter family as well and all of the support that right. they're getting. Right. Yeah, so they're taking action this week. Mm -hmm. um, Austin's father, his uncle, State Senator Paul Boyer, and a fellow firefighter addressed the Goodyear City Council uh, yesterday to those, try to fight for some change. But those little girls appear to be wise beyond their oh, years gosh. based on what they've already been through at such a young age. Right. And I think Harper and Mar Mar Marley, right? Yeah. I think this is just the start of the support they'll see from oh the firefighters gosh. through their young lives. Yeah, seven and yeah. ten years old. So yeah. poised, so mature. And well-spoken. Oh, yes. my. Yeah. yeah. Thank a you for them. Mm-hmm.